Hey guys, today we're gonna be disassembling the new iPhone 12 Pro we picked up. Uh, there's a lot of new features in it, and I can't wait to check out what's inside. So you are gonna need four tools, Phillips head screwdriver, pentalobe screwdriver, and a tri-tip screwdriver, as well as a pry tool. Now the first thing are the two screws on the bottom, same thing as the other iPhone models. I'm just gonna take those out with your pentalobe screwdriver. Now we're going to use the heat gun on the screen and melt the glue around the inside of the bracket. Now take your pry tool and go in from the sides. Now, it is definitely a little bit harder to get the screen off than the other models, but nothing too crazy. Okay guys, the first thing I see right away is it opens the opposite direction. Typically the older models open like this, this opens like this. So similar layout, you have your battery and LCD connectors down here and then your speaker connector and face ID up there. Now with your pentalobe screwdriver, there's going to be two screws here. Take those out. Unplug the battery first. This looks very simple, uh, almost easier than the other models because it's plug and play. Uh, two cables for the screen down there. And then we're gonna unplug the ear speaker. Remove these four screws. All right, so this is pretty easy. Um, nothing impressive, it kind of just looks like another piece of trash that they sell. Uh, I thought it'd be a lot harder to fix being Apple, but same thing, nothing special. We're gonna do some drop tests and some scratch tests, and I'm sure we will not be surprised that it's still very breakable. These things are fragile, and I doubt Apple made them four times stronger. Uh, we'll reassemble it, but if you ever fix an iPhone before, you, you know how to do it. Plug this ear speaker back in. We always want to plug in the battery last. The newer model iPhones are not as easy to short out if you leave it plugged in, but there is that one out of a thousand chance. So we just leave the battery unplugged and plug that thing in last. Now we're gonna fold it over like this. Typically the iPhone models, you wanna watch the top and try to get those in, but actually I'm gonna just try to close it like this and see if it snaps right in, yep. So this is one of the easiest phones to fix that Apple has come out with. I'm very surprised by that. Um, now we're gonna put the drop put it to the drop test and see how that goes. 